Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be learning about rheumatoid arthritis and its physiotherapy management. To begin with, what is rheumatoid arthritis? It is basically an autoimmune condition. That is, our body's defense mechanism mistakenly attacks our own body cells. This condition is chronic in nature, that is, it has been lasting for a long period of time. It is inflammatory in nature, that is, there is an inflammation associated with rheumatoid arthritis. As you can see in the term arthritis, arthritis, the itis term means inflammation and arthro means joint. So, there is inflammation mainly in the joints. Now, the next thing is that rheumatoid arthritis is systemic, that is, Although it mainly affects the joints, it can also affect other body systems such as our lungs and heart. We will be learning about it in detail. Now, rheumatoid arthritis mainly affects young and middle aged adults and it is characterized by certain changes that occur in the joints. Here you can see the picture of a joint. This is a bone. This is a capsule surrounding it and here is the synovium. Now there are proliferative and destructive changes that occur in the synovial membrane that you see right here. The periarticular structures that is the structures that surround the joints, the skeletal muscles and also the perineural sheets. Now eventually what happens is that due to these proliferative and destructive changes the joints are destroyed, fibrosed or ankylosed. Now fibrosed in the sense fibrous tissue forms around the joints. And finally, ankylosed or ankylosis means there is stiffening or fusion of the joints. Now, concising the important points that we learned under the introduction, rheumatoid arthritis is mainly an autoimmune, chronic, inflammatory, systemic disease of young and middle-aged adults characterized by proliferative and destructive changes mainly in the synovial membrane, periarticular structures, skeletal muscles and perineural sheets. Eventually, these joints are destroyed, fibrosed or ankylosed. Next, let's understand the etiology that is the cause of rheumatoid arthritis. First is genetic predisposition. That is, certain people have genetic histocompatibility markers like HLA-DR1 or HLA-DR4 that make them more likely to get affected with rheumatoid arthritis. Now, secondly, Agents such as Mycoplasma, Clostridium and viruses like Cytomegalovirus have also been implicated in its cause. Other factors are age, smoking, obesity and so on. Now after having learnt what is rheumatoid arthritis and what are its major causes, let's understand the different stages of rheumatoid arthritis. So mainly we can divide the stages into stage of synovitis that is in its name itself we know there is inflammation of the synovium. Second stage is the stage of destruction and third stage is the stage of deformity. So before we look at these three stages in detail, let's look at the structure of a healthy joint. Now in order to access the remaining video on rheumatoid arthritis and its physiotherapy management, you can visit my website. The video lecture will include the detailed explanation of the stages of rheumatoid arthritis along with its clinical features, orthopedic deformities, diagnostic criteria, investigations, medical management, surgical management, physiotherapy assessment, aims and treatment. The notes are also provided along with the video lectures. You can access the video lecture on rheumatoid arthritis and its physiotherapy management on my website www.angelinaisaac.com at a minimal price. The link to the video lecture is given in the description below. To get updates on my latest videos, click on the subscribe button. To get notifications, tap on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.